Hi, it's Chris here. How's everyone doing? I'm here in Ladner, BC at my dad's place. We are officially no longer Twasonites. Yeah, Sailor's here too. Mm -hmm. uh, I should mention uh, Mr. Peanut. He's been in my family longer than I have. And my wife on uh, Reef. Where's Reef? Oh, there's Reef. 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 Hey. And my wife. How's it going, Jazz? Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got some rain card. Caught this in the summertime. Time to pick it up. Anyways, uh, yeah, so we sold our condo and we're moving into our new place on July 29th. Uh, we're about four months without somewhere to stay and my dad let me stay at his. Uh, so we're gonna make that home for now. You getting into trouble? That's my camera bag. It's my camera bag, don't break that stuff. Yeah, get kids. Oh. Okay, so one of my viewers had a good idea to see what's in my dad bag. So I'm gonna show you what I bring with me on a day to day when I go filming and when I go harvesting in the ocean. So uh, first thing is this Mako dive bag. Uh, it's been very, very handy. Makes uh, hiking down to these shores very convenient. There's a bunch of different manufacturers that sell this exact same bag. They all get it made in the same uh, same warehouse. Uh, I think uh, Ashraf with Davin Sports has a couple too. Uh, but they're great, uh, definitely key when you're diving around the west coast hiking. The spear gun I carry with me is the uh, Patho Sniper. Uh, the 75 uh, it's excellent tracks on the water very very nicely put a little GoPro mount on the bottom and I marked uh, right there with some black uh, Sharpie 65 centimeters so I can reference that for a link odd when I'm in the water yeah it's done me very very well I'm excited to get some action with it my weight belt I get the C4 weight belt this one is made from silicone um, I would highly highly suggest silicone they're very very stretchy um, and the material, the silicone material grips right onto your wetsuit. Um, I like this style of buckle. You can adjust them right to your body. Yeah, so silicone, 100%, that's the way to go when you're diving. They don't slide down on your belly uh, when you're doing some deeper dives when everything starts compressing. All right, so when I get to shore, I open up my bag. Uh, the dive poncho, this one here is uh, phenomenal. Uh, it's microfiber, uh, keeps me nice and dry in the winter time and allows me to get changed in public and pretty much get naked without exposing myself to anybody. Uh, snorkel, just a traditional snorkel. Uh, it's very, very flexible. Uh, you don't need anything fancy. Uh, those fancy ones, they trap carbon dioxide and can actually reduce your breath hold. Um, yeah, these are great. Uh, I got my light. This one here is one of the 2500 green sea lights that Kian and I just started making. Uh, incredibly bright as you can tell. Hey, what else is in there? <laughs> got a hand strap on there which makes diving way, way easier. Looking in cracks and holes and looking for fish too. Uh, you got my catch bag, Sayla. Yeah, this is what I put you inside of. I'm just kidding. That's for my crabs. I carry that with me when I plan on going harvesting for sea urchin. Uh, you can throw them in there, or uh, sea cucumber, a bunch of different crustaceans you can chuck in there. What else? What else? Do you want to get it? What else? Do you want to get that? Yeah. You can do it. Okay, I'll do it for you. All right. Mask. Uh, this one also, Mako Minimus, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's very low volume. Uh, fits my face excellent. Uh, I really, really enjoy this mask. I got a couple other ones uh, if I'm doing some filming uh, with a GoPro. I like to have the GoPro mask, but generally this is the one I use. It can get me nice and deep and uh, never had any problems equalizing it. The dive knife. I got this one from Diving Sports uh, C4. Uh, it's super, super easy to use while you're in the water. Just simply pull and it locks right back in there. You can do that in a couple seconds. Uh, stainless steel, nice and small. Can bring a fish, no problem with it. Yeah, it does does good work. You don't get to play with this one. No, no. Yeah, yeah. You can play with my snorkel keeper. Snorkel keeper uh, that goes on the mask. Uh, no, not yet, baby. Soon. And I don't like losing gear. Gear is not the cheapest, so you just throw that through there. And voila. Get yourself a mask and a snorkel that won't fall off. And I like to carry a little case for all my gear, all my little stuff anyways. 
I get some baby shampoo in this little bottle and that helps to defog my mask when I'm in the water. Nothing worse than a foggy mask. Is that it? Oh, no, no, there's more. These were given to me by my dad's friend. Uh, they were made from Kevlar. I think the company is N Diver. I'm not too sure. They're five millimeter uh, open saw gloves. They got that uh, titanium lining. Uh, so you don't really need lubricant to slide into them, but they're, they're sweet. Keep my hands nice and warm all winter. These socks here were just given to me by Ashraf with Diving Sports to check out. Uh, spe, spe, spetoa? How do you say that? How do you say that, Sila? Spetoa? Yeah, that's probably better. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she she probably she probably did better on that than I did. But yeah, they're also open cell, super super warm. He just started carrying these. These ones are seven mil. Never had a, a socks keep me so warm. All right, so now we get into the main compartment. All right. So this is the Crestia Sepia. This has been my go-to suit for now. This one's a seven millimeter. I did a review on this one on a previous video. It's a really, really nice suit. I, I didn't originally like the camouflage, but I like it a lot now. It's incredibly comfortable. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, open cell. And this one is waist cut, waist cut suit. And last but not least in this bag is my fins. These are made by Bouchot. They're very sweet carbon fins. Uh, they have done me very well, very durable. I think they're a medium flexibility, medium soft. Not 100% on that. Who are you fighting with, Reef? Yeah. That's pretty much it on a day to day uh, when I go in the ocean. Now, I got a big old goodie bag of stuff over here. This is my, you know, additional supply. My wife, I got her some fins back in the day. Um, once she got into diving, we ended up having a few babies, so she's put that on the back burner for a while. How is that food coming along? Delicious. Yep. Oh yeah, can't wait. Oh, by the way, I found this on the beach. Hayden Gudwill. If anyone here knows Hayden Gudwill, I have the crab float. I'm not sure where that's from. What else we got here, Sayla? I got my SEAC, my SEAC suit. Then when there's a seven mil top, five mil bottom, I'm gonna wear that when the temperature gets a bit warmer. I got my Cressy Corvina. I love this suit a lot. It looks pretty badass. Uh, it's got the uh, smooth outer cell in certain areas, um, nylon exterior in others, and it's an open cell suit. This one's uh, seven millimeter all the way around. Uh, I got a whole bag full of old socks and extra masks, float line. I don't really use a float line for safety. It's a good idea but I finally get wrapped up and stuff and just restricts me when I'm diving. Teach their own, it's kind of a preference there. I'm gonna get my dive lanyard. I wanted to dive this week, but you know, selling places, moving places, I moved all our stuff to Nanaimo, so I just didn't have any time. And Zaya, he's down there sleeping away. He's getting bigger, he's getting stronger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't, can't wait till he's running around like Sayla. Won't be taking up as much of our time because they'll have each other to entertain. Hey. What does that mean? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Here's another idea. Uh, thanks, Sayla. She just she just told me. Uh, so so last uh, last bit over here. I can show you is my camera bag. A lot of people ask what I film with. Uh, all my long lens stuff is this camera. It's the uh, Sony AX53. This camera is wicked. I can't say enough good things about it. Uh, it's got some amazing stabilization technology. If you look right here, let's see if I can do this. Open it up. And look how that lens just kind of moves around. You know, pretty, pretty crazy. So I could be fully zoomed out and still get a pretty clean shot while I'm on a boat rocking around in waves. I got some extra batteries that I always carry with me. I got this little egg timer, GoPro attachment. You just put it on the ground and it does a 360. And for filming all my underwater stuff, I get this GoPro Hero 8. I'm thinking about getting a Hero 9, but I don't know if it's a worthy investment yet. Sayla, what'd you do over here? 
what did you do? Was that, was that partially me? So now I got this big old mess to clean up. I got dive gear all over the place. Spent all day cleaning. What do you think, Mr. Peanut? We'll get some abalone. 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 I'm probably gonna get child services called on me. What type of seasoning? This is Greek seasoning. So the deal is I catch the fish and Jasmine cooks the fish. Most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah, if I cook it, it ends up into a burrito. And can't beat a burrito. Is that small buddy? Is that small? He looks so sad. Oh, oh. Sad, and that's looking good. Got some rice going on there. Some green beans. Served. I see your masterpiece. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice thing, God. Thank you, baby. No problem. Love you. Love you too. Pretty good, too. Yeah.